Hi guys, good to have you all back. Loads of stuff on my desk. I have the lovely denim and lace cover that I am secretly already in love with. I uh, Look at this. I adore it. I adore it. Now, <clears throat> the outside is done. The outside is done. So now I'm going to focus on the inside. Just in case you're not going to have this as a journal cover. I'm going to make this into, let's say, a storage unit. Yes, it's going to have some items that you can store stuff in. Yeah? So, the plan for today is... I am going to make two boxes with drawers and windows. So that you can see what's inside. It's going to be drawers. And instead of just making four of them, that'll be boring. Uh, so, on the other side, I'm going to make an accordion file folding system. Thingy, I don't know, something, something like it, yeah? So that you can actually put it on your desk. You will have boxes in here and storage in here. And you can open it up and then take out all the pieces of ephemera that you're gonna need. Like labels and tags and journal cards and, you know, candy. <laughs> Who knows what you're gonna put in. Okay, guys. So, what, what am I using? I have loads of stuff on my desk. Some is essential um, and other parts not. But let me start with the papers that I'm using. Okay, for papers. Um, you're going to need single-sided pretty paper. I am going to use uh, the denim and lace kit. But you don't need to use digital slobbies. You can use scrapbook paper or other design paper. It does need to be a little bit heavier, a little bit sturdier. I've printed mine on 200 grams still. Don't know how many pounds that is, guys. Google it. Google it. So, um, scrapbook paper, other design paper. Six pieces, double-sided. Not small pieces. Like an A4 sheet or a letter size or scrapbook paper. A 12 by 12 or something. Yeah? Okay. Also, uh, I want to make some windows in my box drawer thingies. Not necessary at all. That's why I have a sheet of acetate. And then for the accordion folder system, um, you're going to need... Uh, well, you could use pretty paper. I am just going to use this craft colored paper. It's a little bit sturdier than normal copy paper, but you could use also book pages or atlas pages, music music paper, whatever. It doesn't need to be sturdy, sturdy, but you know, not not tissue paper, <laughs> not tissue paper. And I think I'm going to use four or five of these, depending on how many of the folders I want to have. Yes, is that it for paper? Yes, so pretty paper, yes. Double-sided, so if you're using digitals, yes, printed lovely stuff on the back side as well. Yeah, uh, otherwise, lovely scrapbook paper. Okay, for the tools, I'm going to use the, um, uh, well, the usual suspect. Ruler, knife, glue, scissors. Usual suspect. Now, I have a scoreboard. Scoreboard, lovies, very, very handy to have for this uh, project. Then I have some hardware. By hard, my well, I mean some eyelets and some brads. I'm going to do some inking. My uh, choice for today is vintage photo. Because I'm using eyelets, I have my crocodile out. Um, I want to make drawer handles. Real ones that you can pull. <laughs> yes, it's going to be so cute, guys. Um, so you need... Either ribbon or leather straps. I, oh, I have leather straps that I could use. No, I'm going to go for denim. So I have some denim. I have some lace. I have some string. I have two circles. You can make your own circles. But I have circles, these sort of heavier ones. These are vintage ones. Yeah, what else do I have? Um, I'm going to make tabs. Not necessary lobbies. I'm going to make tabs on the folding system. And I want to have letters on the tabs. That's why I have some rub-on or transfer or decals. Whatever you want to call them. But you also can use stamps or, or just write letters on. My handwriting, rubbish. Is that it? Okay, I do have some... Uh, because I do not know exactly how I'm going to do the closure. Um, I do have some... Of these uh, Velcro dots out. But probably not. But probably not. Okay. Is that it? Well, you know me. I might want to decorate with a th something. But I do not know what yet. Okay. But first off, get your pretty papers. 
So the most important tool we use today is our brains. <laughs> so brain on, please, uh, because this will involve a little bit of measuring. Now I can do two things. Just I'm go just going to tell you, I'm going to score here, fold here, cut here and glue here. Uh, but that's not going to work because <clears throat> your journal thingy is probably a different size than what I'm using. So what I want to do is try to tell you why I'm using certain measurements so that you can take this idea and implement it on your own journal, right? Because your journals may be smaller or bigger. So I'm going to try to explain why. Hopefully, hopefully that will work. So first off, we need to measure our journal. We need um, a couple of things. One is very important is the width of your spine. The width of your spine. Because I'm going to have boxes in here. Yes, I have I have a, a, an example. There's going to be boxes in here, and also on the other side, not box, not a box on the other side, but something similar. So it it will need to fit within your spine. Now my spine is uh, almost two and a half inches, almost two and a half inches. So I know that a box that is one inch high is going to work, and one inch. Let's just say I'm going to do two box box here and here. So it will need to fit within. Yes. And I'm going to leave a little bit of room. So one inch high, one inch high. Yes. That is a given. One inch. That's a given. I'm going to write it down, guys. I'm sorry for my hand for my handwriting. So um, my spine is two and a half inches. So the height of my spines are going to be um, height spine is going to be one inch yes and that means on this side and on this side yes one inch okay now the inside of my cover is uh, seven and a half by uh, almost almost seven now just try to figure out how big you want your boxes to be I'm going to make two of them that are six inches wide by three inches high, um, uh, wide and tall. Yes, so six by three because they will fit on here. Now, probably your sizes are different. Maybe you're going to do two and a half by five or you're going to make four by seven or however many inches that you want, as long as two of them will fit on here. So I'm going to make them three by six. So the width, width. I'm going to do wide, wide, three inches wide. Yes. And then tall, six inches tall. These are my measurements. Just write down your own measurements. Yes. Of your spine and, and of your journal, of the, of the service that you're working with. And then how, how tall do you want your spine? Yeah. The, the sides, how wide and how big. Okay, because we need to add stuff. Do not cut a piece of 3 by 6 That won't work. Now I'm going to explain what more do you need than the 3 by 6 Let me try to explain. In order to fold the box, we need more paper. I'm going to unfold it so that you can see how this will work. There you go, there you go, there you go. I already did some notes, yes? Okay, so we're going to start with the, the length, lengthwise. We have our box that is six inches. Then we need, I'm going to call this a spine, guys. It's one of the sides. That is one inch here and one inch here. But it needs to be folded over in order for it to close up. And that is going to be the exact same size. So do not make the top smaller or bigger than this. So we're going to need an inch here. And an inch here, yes, because we've decided it's going to be one inch and we need to double it up. So one inch, one inch, six, one inch, one inch. If you add these all up, that will make for 10 inches. One, two, eight, nine, ten. So the piece of the paper that we're using is 10 inches. I am using 10 inches, yes, but if you're doing your own measurements, just add it up. Same with the width. We have three inches here. I'm going to make a spine here from one, uh, one inch. It needs to be folded over. So another one. Same on the other side. So we have one, two, 
and three is five, six, seven. So seven inch inches. So just add, double up the spines, add the spines. Yes, seven by 10. So I need a piece of paper that is seven by 10. I am hoping this makes sense, lovies. I'm hoping this makes sense. So just in case um, your, your spine is like a three quarter inch because you cannot fit anymore. You have a three quarter inch and a three quarter inch, a three quarter inch and a three quarter inch. Yes, just add it up, add it up. Okay, what do we know? We want to score. Uh, my, my page is bigger than um, the 10 by, by 7, but that's quite all right. I'm going to cut it later. Okay, I'm going to score at 1. This one. I'm going to score at 1. Here's 1. Here's 1. And then I'm going to score at 2. This is the first part that we're making here. Yes, the inside is three inches. So I'm, I have left it at two plus three is five inches. Five inches, there we go. This is going to be hard to see on this paper, yes. And then we need two more of the spines. One, two, so six is one. And then seven is two. Now actually this last piece here, that's the piece that I can do without. That's what I'm going to cut off. I'm going to use a ruler and a knife for this. Use a paper trimmer. Use whatever, lobbies. Use whatever. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to turn our piece of paper. Yes, we did. This, 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 and this. Now we not need to do this. So, I'm going to turn it. Okay, we're going to start with, guess what? One inch, because my spines are one inches. One. And two. Oh my gosh, almost like we're doing gymnastic. One and two, yeah? What else do we need? One, two, six. We're going to make this six, but maybe yours is four, or seven, or 28. <laughs> Probably not. Yes, so 1, 2 plus 6 is 8. So I'm going to score at 8. I mean, another spine. Score at 9. Yes, 9. And then I'm going to cut at 10. Now I've used the most perfect piece of paper. <laughs> For the scoring and the folding. I have no clue where the folds are. Yeah, it's very busy paper. It's lovely. It's lovely though. In case you want to use it, love, of course, it's listed down below. Yes, on my ko -fi. Yes? Okay. So, I'm going to fold it, guys. Because then we're going to see where we um, need to do some a little bit of cutting. Here. Here, here, and here. So we need quite a larger piece of paper in order to make this big of a box, right? Okay. Now I'm I'm going to make um, I'm going to draw some lines because I can't even see myself. This is way better. <laughs> A piece of paper to see where we're going to cut because we need to make a couple of snippies. I'm hoping you can tell, guys. I made some with pencil, some lines, but I'm gonna lines, but I'm gonna try to use the template to show you where we're going to cut, right? So it's in the same direction. Now, these two flaps here are going to be intact, just intact, yeah. So I'm going to snip here, here. Here and here, yeah. So you have two lines here. You have one fold, two fold, yeah. So I'm going to cut here just a straight line here on all four corners. So where this fold begins, I've marked it with a pencil. There you go. There's one on the other side as well. If you 
don't know where the line is, guys, just fold it in. Fold it in. Three. And four. See, we have these two flappies now. These two flappies. Okay. Now, for the top and the bottom, again, they are the same. We have two big flaps here. But actually, what we want to do is take this part out. This part here and this part here. See? We can lose these completely. So, I'm going to cut here. Yes. And here. Just straight, guys. I'm going to cut everything straight for now. I will later cut some stuff at an angle. Again, the last two sort of little squares here, we can lose. Here. Here. Same on the bottom or top or just on the other side. Here, here. Now, if you are a very straight cutter, <laughs> you don't need to do the following step. I'm doing the following step. As you can tell, I sort of mitered, mitered these. Just I've taken off because we have th these flappies here, yeah? Because these need to be folded in. And if they're the slightest bit too tall, it doesn't fold well. Yeah? So that's what I'm doing because I know me. So I'm just going to take a sliver off at an angle. Doesn't need to be a lot, lovey. See here. I'm gonna do the same on the inside. Yes, just make this at an angle. I'm going to do all four of them. You done all the cutting? Yes. The question is, do we want to ink or not before we fold everything? I'm going to ink. <coughs> um, pum, pum, pum. I'm especially going to ink here, this on the outside, because this will be sort of visible. This here on the outside, and we will not be able to reach it anymore. Yes. This one over here. That's why we need a um, double-sided paper. And this. Do we need more? No, I think that's it. The other, the other stuff we can do later. Okay. Two flappies here, two flappies here. Just try to fold the flappies towards the middle, towards the inside. Yeah? Sorry, guys. I needed to cough. Um, yes, toward the inside. Then we're going to fold this up and over. Up and over with the two flappies on the inside. See? Like so. Yeah? Same here. Flappies on the inside. Up and over. There you go. Just do a test run before you put glue on. See, does everything fit? Does it fit? Will it stay in? Yes, and then I'm going to fold these in. If you do it well, you don't even need to, to glue them, but I'm going to glue them. Does everything fit? Does it look amazing? It does. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to fold it open again and put some glue on. Now I have art out. I'm going to take Bart. Well, hopefully Bart will want to work today. Probably not. So I'm going to put glue on the outside of the flappy here. That's not going to work, love. You have not used Bart in like forever. Use glue stick because this will glue very quickly, right? On the outside of the flappies. Outside of the flappies. Yes. Have them straight up. Yes. Fold this up and over. Up and over. Up and over. Yeah. And then a little bit of glue here, 
a little bit of glue here. So this will also fit. Have this straight, love. Have this straight. This is actually the hardest part. Yes. Same here. Little bit of glue. Now I have more videos on how to make boxes. And uh, we can make them a little bit different. But the principle is still, is still the same. Up. Over. Do they fit? Does everything is everything in here? Yes. And then glue glue. It just needs a tiny bit just to hold it down. Yeah. A little bit of glue there. There you go. A little bit of glue there. There you go. And we have our boxy. Oh, cool. I, I love the bottom. <laughs> I love everything. Tada. <clears throat> boxy. Now, I need to make two. I'm going to do the other one off camera, guys. Because that is a lot of work. So I'm going to make another one. Yes. By all means, love. Just, you know, I'm going to make chapters in this one. Just return to the chapter. And if you want to see it again. And make another one and here's my second box i hope you haven't made them yet guys because don't glue down one of the, the shorter sides yes this is going to be where the draw handle is going to be yeah so if you have that's that's no problem you you just see the the bra so i was able to open it up <laughs> so yeah these are going to have draw handles i'm going to make mine from two strippies of denim. I just cut out two strippies of them, uh, denim. I'm going to try to sort of fray them. And make them a little bit more sort of distressed rustic type of whatever. See, now I like this way, way better. Way better. But you could also do this with a piece of leather or lace or any other fabric that you want. Loves. There we go. A little bit here as well. Do you want some inking? think so let's just, just do a little bit a little bit of inking i'm gonna use this as a, oh my gosh don't fall off i'm just gonna do a little bit of smudgy grunchy smudgy grunchy there you go Ta -da. make them dirty okay um hole hole this this not straight loves you need to have it like so yeah okay uh, pokey tool. I'm gonna use my pokey tool. I'm gonna do one first. Careful. Not to punch your finger or what have you. Yeah? Okay. Rats. Did I make the hole big enough? Well, not really. Oh my gosh. Bigger hole. There we go. Go through. Go through. Yes. Oh, that's going to look awesome. And then one here. Hopefully sort of in a straight, straight-ish line. Yeah. Now, if you already glued yours down, you, you will see the legs. That's the only thing that's going to happen. And because I was in time. That just looks awesome, right? <laughs> I think it just looks so cool. Really cool. Okay, and now we can glue it down. Glue, glue, glue. Ta-da! We have a drawer handle. Okay, I'm gonna do the same with this one. What we need now is, let's say, the sleeve. 
Yes, because we need to sort of put the draw in, into a something. So something needs to go all around it. Now, if you're going to make a standalone box, yes, you're going to need a sleeve that goes on the top, on the side and on the bottom. But we already have a bottom part. We already have a bottom part because I'm going to glue it on here. Yeah? Okay. How am I going to do this? This is going to be the draw. Oh my gosh, isn't it fantastic? I just love them. <laughs> I just love told told you we were going to cover everything up, but that's that's quite alright. Okay, so we need a top. That is the three inches. Then we need a side here that is an inch, a side here that is an inch. But we also want it to attach to the bottom. For this, I'm going to make an hin a hinge. And let's just say I'm also going to make the hinge an inch wide. So we're going to need an inch on the bottom. An inch here. Yes. One inch, two inch. Then this is three. Now I am going to make this the, the tiniest bit bigger than three. Believe me, guys, that's the best way to go. Because this is now not... Uh, like an, a precise three inches anymore because we glued here and we glued here and such so i'm actually going to make this three and one eighth of an inch i know it's going to be a little bit difficult but three and one eighth one inch one inch three and one eighth yes one inch one inch so we need one two three and one eighth is five and one eighth six and one eighth seven one eighth yes just add the one eighth in the center Okay, and uh, six. We don't need anything on the sides, love. You could, you know, make like an end here, but I'm just going to make just the sleeve. So this is six. Yes, six, because we also made this six. Now, if you're smart, um, you can make it six and one eight. But I don't mind if it sticks out the tiniest bit, because this is not an exact three by six anymore. Okay. Already cut my piece to size. Double-sided, love. There's a little bit of white here. Do I mind? Are you going to see it? Yeah, you're going to see this. I'm going to take off um, the white. Do I have a ruler? Well, we have several. So I'm going to take this one. Losing all the white. There you go. Okay. I am going to just cut through your face, love. I am so sorry. We are going to need an inch on the bottom. On the bottom. Yes, we're going to need an inch on the side. Yeah? Okay. Now we need three and one eighth of an inch. So five and one eighth of an inch. Yes, now I'm going to move up where I scored to... Uh, like a full number, six, because now I need another inch to the side, seven, and an inch on the bottom, eight. Uh, but, but, there we go. So we're going to cut here at eight. Knife. Okay, folding. Oh, yeah. Lovely, right? We could also... No, I want... I want... This is going to be... Yes, this is going to be the cover. Okay. Fold here. Fold here. Oh, her face is going to be on the side. That's lovely. Fold here. And fold here. Now, if we take out one of our drawers... There you go. Drawers. Yeah. Then this should fit in nicely here in the center. See? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to switch them because... A little bit of the same. Well, that's quite all right. Just see see what you like, lovies. Does it fit? It does fit. It does fit. So we basically need to put glue here and here and then glue it on uh, the surface. But, and this is an extra step, love. Not necessary at all. I want to make a window here. I want to make a window so that you can see what's inside. Yeah. So I am going to sort of draw a rectangle. You can use a die cut for this, lovely. Maybe have a lovely oval. That'll be fantastic. But I'm just going to do it manually. By this, I mean ruler, knife. I am going to take out the scoreboard. Um, for be per more precise measuring. Okay, I'm going to line it up. Line it up, line it up. Yeah. 
and I'm going to cut uh, to draw a line at half an inch. You could also do this just by measuring out, but I'm going to draw a line here, half an inch. Yes, and same on the other side. It's within the the false lovies, yes. Also going to do half an inch here. You could do this on your mat, but this is more precise. Half an inch, half an inch. Same here. I'm going to have a border of half an inch. Yes, half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch. If you want a smaller window, <coughs> no, you make bigger borders. You make bigger borders. Uh, ruler, knife. Cut here. If this is your first time love making something like this, skip the part with the window. Just, you know, give yourself a big applause if you made the box with sleeve. You're like, oh my gosh, made a box with a sleeve. Yes? Next time you can make a box with a sleeve and a window in it. Did we manage? Yes! Look, window. Acetate. Where or oh, where is my acetate? My acetate is here. I'm going to cut a piece of acetate. That is, guess what? Three inches by six. A little bit shorter than six, probably. So I'm just going to cut a piece of acetate and then I'm going to glue it in. Easy. Did some inking before I glue in the acetate, love is. Yes, so my acetate is the exact size. I'm going to put glue. <clears throat> on these borders not too close to the inside edge lobbies because the glue will go and you'll see it on the estate <laughs> yes oops does it fit it does Fantastic. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's glorious. Absolutely love it. I was thinking to make compartments in here. Do we want to? I'm going to make a, a compartment. I want to have sort of a, a boxy here and a boxy here. <coughs> I'm taking out just a random piece of paper. I am going to make a strippy that is a little bit less than one inch. I have my paper trimmer here. This is not necessary at all, loves. It's something that I just come up with. Tiniest bit smaller than one inch. That is, oh my gosh, one and a half inch, love. Yes, just a strip of paper. I am going to score at one. Yes, I'm going to add three. I'm going to score at four. Now, one is going to go this way and one is going to go that way. So I'm making sort of a zigzaggy. Going to ink it and glue it in like so. So one here, one there. Just came up with it. <laughs> there we go. Ink all around. I think zigzaggy is the best way to do this. Yeah. That's why I made it the tiniest bit uh, smaller than one inch. So it will not stick out on the top. That'll be very bad with putting in the drawer. So 
So we can have labels here and labels here. Is it cute? Oh my gosh, yes, it's very cute. Now, <clears throat> I need to glue this in my journal. I could do it the hard way, you know, by just trying to glue it down and hopefully it will still fit. I'm just going to put it over the drawer. Yes. Over the drawer. Squeeze it a little bit. And then put lots of glue on. If you're smart, you use glue stick. Not smart. Yes. Where do we want it? Almost to the bottom. Does it fit? Does it fit? It does. I'm trying to press it. Slowly taking out my drawer. And this should be a perfect fit. Can we put it back in? We can! Ta-da! See? Drawer. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Because we moved this about a little bit and this is not very sturdy paper, it will have a bend in it. I don't care about these. I really don't care. I just like that there's two compartments in here. Fantastic. Now I need to make another one. The other one I'm going to make um, sort of a smaller window. Maybe just, just on the top. Yeah, smaller window. And then it sort of looks like this. I absolutely love it. Um, this, the sort of the compartments that I made didn't really work because the paper is too flimsy. Next time I'm probably going to fold it up, make it double and then try it, try again. But guys, just have it as one sort of draw. And I love them. Look at that. <laughs> I made three in here. It's just cool, right? And then two in here. I just absolutely love them. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yes, we have time to make the folder thingy. Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to use this piece of paper. Packed it with this. Cut all the white off. And this is actually the size that I'm using. Well, the width anyway. Yeah? Okay. This also needs to have on the bottom a one inch spine. Now, <clears throat> I've decided I really want to sort of figure out where I want the, the design to be. So I am going to score here on this line. Oh my gosh, look at my inky fingers. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to score here. There you go. There. Yeah. And this is going to be my spine. Guess what? My spine needs to be one inch. Yes. One inch. So I'm going to fold this over and this over. This is, oh, oh my gosh, yes, don't look at it. It's too lovely, but you can print it out again. This is actually going to be glued on here. Yes, this is the spine. Now, are we just simply going to cut here? Do we want to have it yay high? I think so. I think so. I want a sort of frame on here. Yes. Okay, so this is going to also going to be folded open. Folded open. There are going to be lots of compartments in here. And then we also need a um, closure thingy. I really want this. I really want this. Um, so I'm thinking, spine. One inch. And one inch, will that work? Yes, exactly, exactly. So this is going to be glued down. This is going to be the top. Yeah. Okay. And I think I want to make it shorter. But I don't know exactly how. This is going to go here. And then this. Oh my gosh, it's just lovely, right? Are you going to keep it as is? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So you can fold this open and there are going to be sort of accordion style thingies in here. Yeah? Perfect. I am rounding corners. Because I just want to... Because I think that's going to look better. There and there. Are you going to round corners here? 
Mm, no. No. Oh my gosh, already absolutely love it. Okay, I'm hoping this is going to make sense, lovies. Here's what I need to do. I need filling. I need filling. And for the filling, I'm using these papers. Yeah? Okay. We know that they need to be yay wide. But they're going to have an accordion fold. And I think I'm going to have the accordion fold... Um, Quarter inches. Quarter inches? Half inches? One, two, three is one and a half. No, quarter inches. Quarter inches. How high is this? Four inches. Oh, exactly four inches. That is fantastic. So first what I want to do is make them four inches tall. Actually, a little bit shorter than four inches. What I want for, to want them to fall into the case, yes, four inches. Taking out my scoreboard, yes. The width of this is six inches. I need to make an accordion, so three scores of a qu of quarter inches. I'm going to make one so that you can see what I am talking about. Three eighths of an inch? Ooh, no, quarter inches, quarter inches. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. Let's see. I need to zigzag them. Zig. Zag. Good job, me. <laughs> I always go off with the zigzags. I do not know why. So we need a this on the edge. See this? We need a this. Sort of a W or an M. We need a this. And then we need six inches. It doesn't go on this. I need my bigger scoreboard. Hello, bigger scoreboard. Where's you at? Oh, here. Yes. <clears throat> this is six inches. I'm going to make them the tiniest bit smaller. Yeah. So I'm just going to move this up. Tiny bit. One eighth of an inch. So I'm going to score at six. And then quarter inches. A quarter, 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 and here's where I'm going to cut. There we go. Yes, now we need to make a new zigzaggy. any sense okay um i'm going to make five Ooh. i'm going to make five of those five of those so in total the paper in total is now let's fold it open uh say seven and three eighths because we make this a little bit smaller seven and three eighths of an inch oh my gosh by by four so made four with these zigzags, W's, M's at the ends. Guys, um, make them bigger. I make them quarter inches. Please make them half inches. That is way better with, with all the folding. I just wanted to save on paper. Why? I don't know because I have enough paper. So yes, make these just half, half inches for easier, easier scoring and folding. So four of them and then two just hinges. Yeah, so quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, and I made this half an inch. Hinges, just the two hinges, so not the stuff in between, just two hinges, two hinges, and four of these, or five of these, six, seven, how many that you want. Also made four tabs, I just punched the tabs, these are just single-sided, 
ink them and then it's one of these rub-ons letters on that's just fantastic right now before i glue everything together i think i'm just want to attach the the tabs first because i have more space now i'm going to start with a with the first one a here yes and then I'm going to do D all the way to the other side. That way I sort of can figure out where I can put B and C. I was done with all the measuring today, guys. See? So A and D. So this is going to be in the middle here. Will B work here and then C? Oh, yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, I'm going to do B here. I'm just going to do this. Yeah. And then C. Just eyeballing everything, guys. I'm going to put... Sort of here. Oh my gosh, perfect fit, perfect fit. A, B, C, D. Yes, I know my alphabet. Smart, right? Okay, perfect. <coughs> now, I'm going to glue everything together in order, right? In order. So, I'm going to put glue on these ends here, on A. And this would work way better if you actually have more space to glue on. Now you need to line these up, guys. Line these up. A little bit higher, a little bit higher. Line these up. Yeah, same here. So, put glue on this small, way too small of a strip. Yes, half inches, way better. Even an inch if you have enough space. And then this needs to be glued there. Like so. Does it make any sense? So, the last part of the zigzaggy we're going to attach. To the new part yeah and then the other one so i'm going to glue these together and then we're going to do the last one they're all glued to one another it looks amazing right i love the tabs really like it okay and now the last two ones i am going to glue in the front in the front yeah so putting glue on here i could have made this bigger Yes, stop complaining, love. You didn't, so it is what it is. Attach these here. All the way to the end, love. All the way to the end. Yeah. And this one on the other side. Now, what I've done with these two, I've already inked them. I'm not inking uh, any of these because they're already a lovely color. There's no white peeping. Well, except for the glue at the moment. There we go. Yes. Now this eventually is going to be glued in here like so. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. You can make more. You can make like 10 of these because they will fold in and then you can pull them. And But I'm just going to make these four. Okay. <clears throat> but I also want a closure. And I think making the closure will be way easier before I glue this in. So here's what I'm doing. First off, I'm gluing this down. I'm going to cover up the denim here, <laughs> which was the loveliest part. But hey, yeah. Okay, I'm going to glue this down. Just the bottom part. Bye, lovely flowers.
And there you go, a little bit lower. Is this crooked? No, it's not. No, 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 it's not crooked. Okay, <clears throat> and then we need the top part. Yay high? Yay high. Do not forget to ink the inside because you will see the inside of the flap. Make sure it lines up, it's straight on the top. These line up here. Yes, there you go. So I'm gonna need a closure here. What are we using? Um, I think we're going to do the string closure. For this, I'm going to need um, 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 these two. One, two. I'm going to ink them. Yes. Uh, brat, are we going to do brat? No eyelet? Do we want to? Yes, we want to. Brat. So I'm going to put on whole reinforcers underneath here. You've seen me do this, guys. <clears throat> Just to have it uh, raised a little bit. Do I have some odd ones, odd colored ones? Just going to double them up. You hear some grunching in the back. <laughs> That's my cat. It's feeding time, so they're eating. There we go. And another one. Yes. I'm going to make a small hole in the center. You don't need your cropper down for this, love. No, you can do this just with your with your pokey tool. I'm gonna do the other one with the pokey tool. Yeah. Rad. So no eyelets today. What did I need the eyelets for then? Nobody knows. I'm gonna do the same. Yes. Yes, so you will see the, the brats here. I am going to leave the tiniest bit of room in between lovies because there needs to be string underneath. I'm going to do the same with the bottom one. Line them up, that'll be lovely. Oh yeah, whole reinforcers. <laughs> Forgot the whole reinforcers. gonna get questions where'd you get the whole reinforcers it's a die set love it's from elizabeth craft designs but honestly um, i don't know if they are available anymore i know reinforcement pack one is already out of commission is that straight straight ish it is now same here leaving a tiny bit of room so I'm not pushing it all the way to the end. Leaving this open. Now, because there's going to be stuff in here, I will put a little bit of tape over it. This one, not necessary at all. It doesn't even show up. It doesn't even show up. Okay. Yes, this, this, this. Done. Now, this needs to be glued here yeah this is going to be tricky loves needs to be glued this needs to be glued here and then this needs to be glued there i'm going to start with the front i 
I'm so hoping you make these hinges bigger than a quarter inch long. Yeah. All the way to the bottom. This is tricky. I know, I know, I know. There. And there. I'm just going to try to squeeze it. Squeeze it. Does it fit? It does, it does. That was the trickiest part, guys. <clears throat> now, we need glue here. And here. Don't be stingy on the glue, on the glue because, you know, we need lots. Make sure this is straight. Make sure this is straight, lovies. And that the glue glue part is on the bottom, not sticking out. <laughs> glue part on the bottom. Yes. 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 That's why we needed the two inches. It looks so cool looks really cool now what we need is a piece of string i'm gonna do this one because it works so very well i'm gonna have it underneath tie a knot go under there that's why we left a little bit of room tie a knot making a figure eight That is, that is enough love. You don't need a lot. It's the only time I've used scissors today. There we go. Et voila. Et voila. Is it crooked? A little bit. <laughs> little bit crooked. Does it work? It does. It does. Did I put that wrong? I, put the, I pulled the wrong piece. There we go. There you go, love. You can put in stuff, 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 stuff. Yes. Your journal cards, your tags, your whatever. I'll close it up like so. Figure eight. And um, you pull here to put in more stuff. <laughs> Finished. Finished. Oh, look at that. It just looks so cool. Let's look at the end result. So put you guys at an angle because I think this is the best way to view the journal. It's just, it's not a journal, guys. It's a storage box. And I am going to have it somewhere out in the open because it's just gorgeous. Look at the dangle. Yeah, I absolutely love the dangle. It's just cool. The, the back is just lovely. Um, but you can do some more decorating. And then I even love this angle with the drawers. It's just cool, right? Yes. And then you open it up like so. I would put it on my desk like this. What about the dangle? I'd put the dangle like this. <laughs> I just flipped it over to the inside because why not? Why not? Because it's just lovely. Isn't it cool? Here's what I, I did, guys. I did take out the compartments. They were bothering me. I just you no know, cut it. There are now a couple of extra pieces of paper on there. But that's quite all right. That's quite all right. Yeah. And then, you know, you have your file folder. Your sort of archive folder thingy there here so you can put in loads there i would make this for happy mail yes make something like it and then fit it up with goodies yes and gift it to a friend isn't that cool i just absolutely love the drawers i love the drawers they're just fantastic you can do i was thinking do i want to add more lace and pearls and well the paper is just, you know, enough for decorating. Yeah, fantastic. Great, so that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I love the project. You can get the kit on Ko-Fi. It's linked below. It's the denim and lace kit. The weekend is here. I'm going to relax, hoping you will relax. And I'll be back again this Monday with a much easier, shorter, quicker project. So I'm hoping to see you then. Bye, guys.